So Vegas beats the Oilers by a score of 5-2. You know what that means, Rick? Yep. No Canadian teams left. No more Canadian teams left in the playoffs. Oh. Does that affect your interest yeah, it does. in the postseason? You and I talked about this a few weeks ago. It bothers me that a Canadian team hasn't won a Stanley Cup since 1993. And you know who did it back then, the Montreal Canadiens. Mm -hmm. uh, they, they, they beat the L.A. Kings. Marty McSorley, uh, the stick check. They, they, they called the penalty. They got the goal, Eric Desjardins. Mm -hmm. I look at it bothers me that no Canadian teams won a cup in 30 years, Don. A lot of people, it doesn't bother. It bothers me. You know, this is where hockey, everyone in the world, when they think of hockey, they think of Canada. Mm. They think of Canada first. It's the greatest hockey nation in the world. And there's been no cup in 30 years. I, I, I think it's, I, I, it bothers me. It bothers me. Yeah, there, there's definitely a rivalry. Uh, we all know that about that, even in, in some cases, a hatred between uh, uh, cities. But yep. for me, it's not so much about 93. It's what I feel from the fans. Yeah. Like, even through a, a television, you could just tell how much passion there is and oh, what it yes. means uh, to those cities. That's not a knock against the American fans. No, not by, at all. By, by any means. But you know how, how much passion there is and how much they've suffered. Big time. Like, really, really uh, suffered uh, uh, through the years. I know the Oilers have won their five cups. I know the Leafs get way too much attention in the, this country. Yep. But you can't can feel it. And, and as much as a lot of people would hate to see the Leafs win a Stanley Cup again, or the Oilers win a sixth uh, St Stanley Cup, it, at least you feel something. Feel something. Whether Absolutely. you love them or hate them. I know I've said this a lot on the show. There, there is emotion there. The other thing with having the Leafs and Oilers out of the, uh, out of the playoffs, and we'll get to the teams that are remaining in a, in a second, they have a hell of a lot of stars in their lineups, oh, and, and, and that that makes a difference in terms of your personal interest. You know, McDavid and Dreisaitl are, are, are now out. Out. Uh, Matthews, Marner, Marner out. Uh, Tavares, uh, out. No matter what you think of those guys, they are stars. Star they have not only a whole lot of talent, not only do they make great plays, plays but there's charisma there uh, as well. So that... That, that, that hurts. So uh, I think a disappointing day for, for a lot of people with those two Canadian teams out, not only because uh, of that passion that I talked about, but yep. just because those are lineups that are full of, full of stars. Oh, big time. And, and you know, who, who's left? Like, I, I think the two, well, the, the biggest star left, would it be Jack Eichel? It is could he, be uh, Kachuk to me. K Kachuk, is, sorry, yes. Kachuk okay. is, uh, yeah. is, uh, yeah. is a big uh, star for me, and he's up for the MVP uh, award as yeah. well. And, okay. uh, and Eichel, look at Donnie. Six, nine points against the Oilers in six games. He showed up. He showed up. Mm -hmm. and, and Jack Eichel did what exactly what they brought him there to do. Yeah. So, uh, and, and by the way, game seven tonight, uh, Seattle uh, at Dallas. And in terms of the stars that are left, we, we mentioned Eichel and Kachuk. You know, with, with, with Dallas, Robertson, who's not having a great uh, playoff so far, just a couple, couple of goals, uh, hints. Uh, he's been good. You know, but he's not a, Jared McCann, yeah. Gord is leaving, leading them in the playoffs. I'm talking about uh, uh, the Kraken here. Maybe, you know, yep. you're talking about a star, somebody with charisma. Uh, the stars in Carolina, a lot of them are hurt. Hats off to them. You know, Brent Burns maybe. I, yeah. it, there's not a lot left. Not I mean, don't get me wrong. It's our yep. job. It wouldn't matter if it was my job or not. I, I, I'd still watch. Yeah. But th th those two teams being eliminated um, definitely has an effect. Okay, but Donnie, you got to ask yourself. So many stars are out. They didn't get the job done. So why are these teams advancing? Uh, Donnie, they're advancing because of goaltending, health, scoring depth, grit, size. In the playoffs, they're telling you, you could have the stars, but the stars don't guarantee you're going to go far. You know, a lot of these other teams left. They've got depth. They're rolling four lines. They're rolling three pairs of defensemen. Um, so we got to look and, and, and look at why these teams are advancing without star players.